Happy tea time, everybody. The Stevens girls tennis team is putting together another strong season. The Raiders have racked up an impressive 22 and one duels record. Stevens is back on the court tomorrow when it faces off with Central. Here's a closer look. The Stevens girls tennis team is turning in another big season and head coach Jason Olson is pleased with the way his squad is playing. You know, we have really good tennis players that know how to play tennis and, and, and they, they know what to do when they're out there. We just have to, you know, so I think that experience is big for us, but we just have to get a little more consistent, um, maybe compete a little bit better and, and be willing to, to make some changes when things aren't working well and, and, and get better. And I think if we do that, we have a chance to be really good. While the Raiders have piled up their share of victories this season, Coach Olson knows there's still room for improvement. I, I'd have to say, you know, right now we got to get quicker on the court. We've got to just make a little smart, you know, let's a little smarter decisions at times on the court. No one to go for winners. No one to be be defensive. No one to be offense. And if we can do that and we can figure that out, we're going to keep getting even better. But really, it's hard to complain when your team's done as well as we've started. We just you can't rest on those rolls. You got to keep getting better. Stevens has a fairly young squad, with depth being one of the Raiders' strengths. We only have one senior, and, that, and that's, um, you know, it's it's good when you can build like that. But our senior Peyton Olgo is such a strong player, and as she keeps, you know, jumping into that one spot and getting that confidence, it's just going to keep making us better. And you know, I mean, everybody, Sylvie Sylvie Mortimer is an unbelievable doubles player, um, plays super solid in doubles, and you know, just really leads her teammate out there. Stevens has won back-to-back -back team state championships. The Raiders will try for the three-peat at next week's state tournament in Sioux Falls. We don't ever come with a goal to win state. Our goal is to do the best that we can do, and if we're in, if we're in a position to win state, that's ac excellent. Um, you know, the last two years, the last three years, we came in one match away winning three years ago. Then we were lucky enough to, to really play together and play really well and pull out the next year. And last year, we were very dominant. You know, this, we lost some really solid players, and we've got some great players that are stepping up. It's time now for another edition of Big Old Fish. And this evening, Britlin Tamazako is our featured angler. Britlin reeled in this four pound rainbow trout at Alliance Park Pond in Sturgis. Congratulations, Britlin, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be featured on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the Submit Photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in, and we will get you on Big Old Fish. Monday night extravaganza tonight, Jack, right here on Coda Territory. We've got the Buccaneers and the Eagles. Should be an interesting game. Of course, the Eagles made it all the way to the Super Bowl last year. The Bucks off to a little bit of a surprising 2-0 start with Baker Mayfield under center. But that's coming up right here on Coda Territory. Once we're done with the news, NFL countdown at 4.30. The game will kick off right around 5-10. And still waiting to find out if Joe Burrow is going to play for the Bengals tonight. And uh, some big games over the weekend, kind of weird ones a little bit. That's right. We did have some interesting games in the NFL yesterday. Now, things didn't go uh, very well for the Broncos and Vikings. Kind of uh, opposite kind of games. Uh, the Vikings had a chance to win that game yesterday in the final seconds. They were down to the Chargers 28-24. They kind of mismanaged the clock. They could have spiked the ball. They would have had uh, three more downs coming up with 30 seconds, three shots at the end zone. Instead, they let the clock run down. Then we had an interception in the end zone, so the Chargers got the win. The Broncos well, the, the Dolphins just put up 70 points on the Broncos. That's all they did yesterday. Raheem Mostert had four touchdowns. His teammate, rookie running back Devin A. Chain, also had four touchdowns. The Dolphins with the most points in an NFL game since 1966 as they defeated the Broncos 70-20. to 20. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. Well,